this unboxing is from Hatchet Book Group. <clears throat> and I believe the books are all from Chronicle Books. So let's take a look. Oh, the first is this uh, board book, all die cut. It reminds me of um, Masha's Sisters, which was like a really cute book. And it's by Angela P. Arhenius, who is like a really well-known illustration. She makes beautiful books. And so this is just... It's like, it's really tactile with all the different shapes and turning with all the different tree shapes. Um, yeah, it's really lovely. So it's, uh, <coughs> it can be used for seasons and it can be used um, about trees. Um, and it just looks, it's great because the size is small. Like this is my hand. It's great for little hands. I mean, I, I love it. That's so really, really charming. The next book is also a board book. It has 37 lists of flaps. It's called Search the Castle by Jill Hallworth. Um, and this is like opens in the middle. Oh, so it's like a book on each side. Cool. And I wonder too if you open it at different spots, you know, you can make the story different. You know, because like every page can open at a different point and it all kind of lines up. So each of these pages has, has left the flaps and a story on the story on uh, most of the pages. Um, but it's definitely great for little hands and it's yeah, just um, going through what I would say is your typical fairy tale castle. Um, and this is definitely a mystery. With secrets, so I'm sure the flaps have to do with the secrets. We're searching for a crown. Um, yeah, that looks really fun. I like that it's interactive and that there are a lot of pages. Oh, this is another um, really interesting book. Oh, try not to get glare for you. Um, so it's Make Me a Monster. And oh my goodness, look at all the interactivity. So as you turn each page, um, it actually sort of, oh, I have a sleeve on here, but it's sort of different aspects of the monster um, can be unfolded. So you can make the monster, you know, like vary the features as you see fit. And so it's definitely a book for <coughs> kids who like monsters and who are creative and want to sort of play with all the different permutations. Yeah, that looks really fun. Looks fun um, oh, and then here are two more. So this is a series. I think we had uh, one above. Um, I had another one that was, I think it was a lion. So these are little puppet books, Baby Llama and Baby Sloth. And, um, I just can't emphasize how much the puppet feels like a stuffed animal. It's very soft. It's perfect for little hands. Um, there's a little story. But really the real captivating. Oh, and the baby llama from the inside. It feels so soft. And it's cool because the llama has a long neck. So you definitely get that aspect of it from the puppet. And the sloth. It like has a lot of movement because the neck isn't as long as a, it, um, but you can really move the features. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Um, yeah, my kids like those types of puppet books a lot when they were toddlers. And the last one is a picture book, Old MacDonald Had a Truck by Steve uh, Goetz, Getz, illustrated by Ida Caban cabin um, and I think this is a series and definitely a riff off Old MacDonald had a farm but I feel like I saw um, other books by the same author but I could be wrong um, oh wow look at really great um, end papers I love it and so this is about Old MacDonald um, he doesn't have a farm well, he starts off with a farm, it looks like. 
Um, but the farm has a lot of trucks. Oh, so that's super fun for kids who like trucks. My son had a truck phase, I think, when he was like three or four. So I'll add that to my um, truck book list. And um, yeah, so I'm really great um, interactive books. Thank you to Hatchet for sending it to me and for um, FS, friend from Chronicle Kids who, sent, who um, gave me the books.